Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWithDesfocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Friday, December 31st, end of the uh, year. The time is around 2 a.m. GMT. Uh, so happy new year first of all to everyone and uh, it's been a pleasure to be with you all uh, this year. And hopefully next year uh, we can continue to uh, make profit as well as... Uh, uh, continue to improve in our analysis of the market okay so today we are going to take a look at the uh, natural gas here this is a 60 minutes chart now natural gas has been extending to the downside uh, it looks and it feels bearish but today more important than this short-term noise or short-term movement we're gonna take a look at the bigger picture we're gonna take a look at the larger time frame which always is the most important uh, of all and a lot of traders avoid or do not understand the, uh, the larger time frame even though it is actually the most important thing right so yes 60 minutes we do continue to sell off and it looks bearish we are calling that sell off to be you can see here three with three here in the intermediate degree with four and then now within the wave five to the downside now look looking at the subdivision here uh, it suggests that once we finish this five waves down in the uh, minute degree, that will end only one in red. Now let me show you possibilities that we have, and also what will be uh, what will be in the risk versus the reward at this stage of the game. If we take a look here, so first of all, the question is: Can we continue to extend on the downside? Oh, yes, of course. Shorter cycle. If we're talking about shorter cycle, we could. But is the risk to reward skewed to the downside or to the upside? Now we need to take a look at the larger time frame to answer that. Uh, if I go to the weekly chart first, now you can see that natural gas was at the all time high back in 2005 at $15.8 approximately, and the all time low or the low that we had recently was in 2020 June which is 1.4 so in other words we've, we've crashed more or less more than 90% from the peak to the low this was uh, more than 90% crash right? in a span of 15 years now since then we have started to rally the rally it does look impulsive it breaks above this trend line which is from 2014 so it's a 6 year trend line and then we got this massive sort of congestion uh, around this area around 3.3 as well as even around this area we are now which is around 3.6 here this is also considered like a massive congestion here so it's just kind of like uh, where you can see clearly we've been oscillating between this range right for for many years right so if you are, if you are talking about uh, what will be the reward versus the risk you need to answer the question first about your belief do you believe natural gas will break below 2020 which is 1.4 this already crashed more than 90 percent do you believe it's going to break below here again it has already broken above 2014 trend line right and do you believe it will break below here again 1.4 because if you do believe that then technically speaking this rally is too big a little bit too big to be part of the same cycle that came down from 2005 in other words if it breaks below here that could become your connector so you can label this as with a for example with w this could be with b or with c right sorry with b or with x and then you're going to extend lower in the c or y and then if that's the case then you know you just simply measure equal leg here and then does it make sense if it goes to equal leg, it will go to minus seven, right? So natural gas going to negative seven point seven dollars. Does it make sense? Yeah. So basically, you can get natural gas for free if it goes to negative, right? Uh, so that doesn't make sense. And with this kind of view, and uh, with just the macro outlook where inflation starts to pick up and all those things, it doesn't. I mean, it will be the risk or the reward is still. <coughs> in my humble opinion skew towards the upset against this low 
back in 2020, this could be a very, very major low. So if that's the case, then you're asking, okay, okay, it's very bearish and it can continue to go down. Yes, shorter cycle. Yes. But what will be in the larger time frame, the risk versus the reward? <coughs> because if this is the beginning of something that is bigger, all right, we could eventually uh, start a new bullish leg soon. Yeah, we could get another leg lower. Can we go to three dollars? Yeah, sure. We can go to three dollars, for example. But eventually, this pullback likely will complete, right? Because it's not. We we already talked about it. Doesn't make sense to break below here and go to negative. So then, at some point, this is going to be complete, and then we can slowly start the next major leg on the upside. Uh, now. If you measure the retracement, we are retracing more than 50% already. It's a very decent, respectable retracement. Can we go a little bit lower to 61.8? Sure, right? 3.34, right? Sure. Uh, but does it mean I'm bearish? Like, should I be bearish? That's the answer you need to, to ask yourself. Will you try to trade every single swing, right? If you try to trade every single swing and and think that you can catch every single swing then yes that means uh, likely it can still go lower and so on until it doesn't go lower basically right it will go lower until it stops going lower and then the larger time frame starts to kick in and it starts to reverse to the upside now um, in the one hour the possibilities here are that number one that uh, we can be if you look at this we got what looks like a three swings down here look one two three so this is some sort of an ab flat you know uh, this is for our job ab one two three four so we are at the last stage here five of c in a flat <coughs> because we believe eventually it can go up right based on the weekly chart so this cannot be an impulse because it doesn't make sense doesn't make sense to start a new bearish cycle at this stage uh, so it has to be some sort of corrective structure and this one also looks like a three wave so this is a flat a b one two three four five and this is where we are so we got the three and the four already in place right this is the three and four is already in place here so this is your three and four right this is your three and four and if I want to label it, then that means this is my 2 and this is my 1 right and then this is my A and B in a larger degree of course, right? so this is B this is A and now we are about to finish the 5 now the question is like this we already make a new low here so when this is finished are we only going to be ending one of five which is possible if we are then the extension is gonna is gonna be you know it, the the move lower is gonna continue like this one two three four five like this right before ending five here and see and then you will get that move, major move to the upside, reversal, right? Or as an alternate, now if you look at the one hour chart, that's the possibility here that we can be only ending 105 based on the subdivision. But if you look at the weekly, right? You look at the risk to reward, uh, trend line, support, major support, and so on, then you could also say that as an alternate, right as an alternate we could also be instead of ending 105 this could be my entire wave 5 later on when this is finished and that could be my entire wave C we start to reverse on the upside so at what point do you know that the reversal already happens I think you can just simply draw a trend line channel like this now if we at any point breaks above then that means this cycle could be complete and if this cycle is complete then we might be uh, you know in the process of trying to start the next leg on the upside since the pattern on the weekly suggests we don't have a lot of room to the downside here uh, it doesn't have room below 1.4 it seems to me 
so uh, that that means if the cycle is over we might already start the next leg up eventually going into next year eventually it's going to be starting a major uh, bullish leg on the upside here okay so that's the upgrade here for the natural gas and as always if you do want to check our service uh, we currently have promotion 14 days free trial uh, the link is provided in the description of the video so i'll see you all again um next week again happy new year and have a good weekend and enjoy your holiday